Rule number 45. The ablative case can be used following a comparative, signifying than. The ablative case in Latin is a combination of three different functions that show separation, instrument, and location. We're going to talk about a type of the separative function with the ablative of comparison. Just to briefly review, comparative is a degree of adjective. We have the positive, which is the base form, so to speak, like latus, wide, and the comparative latior, wider. We could also use the adverb more here, but more wide doesn't sound as good as wider. This is a third declension adjective, latius being the neuter form, as well as the adverbial form. And then we have the superlative latissimus, widest or very wide. Most can also be used with some adjectives. When we use the comparative latior, we're setting up a comparison between two different objects. So say we want to compare the width of the Nile River to that of the Rhine. We would say nilus es latior, the Nile is wider, well, now we have two options here for than the Rhine. We could use quam reinus, or just put reinus into the ablative case, reino. Both of these mean than the Rhine. In this video, I'll be marking the ablative of comparison in blue with the comparative in the salmon color and the other noun we're comparing in yellow. Lots of colors, but I hope it helps you keep track of things. The next video, rule number 46, We'll spend some time discussing the use of qualm with the comparative, so let's focus in this video on the ablative of comparison. A couple more examples. Cato est cicerone eloquentior. Cato is more eloquent than Cicero. We are comparing Cato to Cicero. Quid nobis duobus laboriosius est? What is more troublesome than we too? Here, laboriosius is the neuter comparative, and nobis duobus is our ablative of comparison. The Silver Age is described as worse than the Golden Age. Argentea proles auro deterior est. Auro is our ablative of comparison. Catullus describes his girlfriend's pet, Sparrow, here. Quem plus illa oculis suis amabat. Whom she loved more, that's our comparative plus, than her own eyes. Here the comparison is between the sparrow, represented here by the relative quem, in the accusative case, and Catullus's girlfriend's eyes. That's quite a lot of love for her pet. The ablative of comparison can only be used when the noun it's compared to is in the nominative or accusative case. If we want to say something like, I gave greater praise to my daughter than to my son, we need to use quam. Filii maiorem laudem dedi quam filio. Note that the two nouns we're comparing are in the same case, in the dative, and this is a must when using quam. The comparative adverb too is commonly followed by quam rather than the ablative of comparison, although poets break all the rules. You'll have noticed from this video that we translate the ablative of comparison with a than, but it's really a branch of the ablative of separation, the from use. There's an understood sequence of events with our comparison here. So going back to our first statement, the Nile is wider than the Rhine, we have the first thought of reinus est latus, the Rhine is wide, and that's our starting point. So when we get to our comparison, we're literally saying that starting from the Rhine, we go to the Nile, which is wider than it. This has been rule number 45. The ablative case can be used following a comparative, signifying than.